Hello everyone. Today we are going to cover well we are going to complete the login system, the database login system. So let's get started. Okay, now we all know the username and password when we enter this. This submits to this controller site and this action login runs. Let's confirm this. Now let's see what happens. Uh, let's see the Ajax validation. We are not doing Ajax validation, so this is not important, not necessary. Collect your uh, okay. Now we are we are checking whether the post is submitted, is set. Then we are gathering all the attributes, the login in the login form, and we are validating that model, the login form validate and log. Okay, so. You must be wondering where this validate where this validate and login functions are. Okay, the login function is a function that is in the uh, login form object here. So let's go to the model of the login form. Login form model. Here, here is the function of the login login function. Now what it does is it gathers the user identity, the username, and the password and passes passes it to the user identity here is the user identity that we talked about earlier here is the user identity class so they have passed this username and the password that's how the username and the password gets here okay so now what we have to do is we don't want this array let's gather the username what we have to do is find someone who has been registered with this username okay. have to do that and find now here we can pass and condition we want to check we want to get the condition is username has to be equal sorry hold on for a sec sorry about that okay okay the condition is the username has to be equal to the username that is being passed check so then this has to be not empty so if not empty if we have users if we have users that are that has been registered with with some username mm, what is this error Oh, sorry. Okay. So, if we have usernames, I mean users registered in this username, we'll check its passwords and this password. Okay. Now, what we have to remember is that the password that is being entered here is not hashed or it has not gone through the function of md5 function the values that we have saved in the database have been saved after being hashed by the md5 function demo okay. here's this table and see, as you can see all the uh, hashed function hashed values so first we have to do is hashed password equal md5 now 
let's check now let's check whether this val that value that comes from here and the values of the user password is equal if the user password ok now if that happens ok then the authentication is a success and the password is wrong then let's pass the invalid password error Let's check this out. Okay, the password uh, there is a username called test, and the password I'm not sure. There are two users. Let's delete one of them. Let's delete this one. Now you are a runner validation here, you cannot you insert to the database the same username twice. So that have you have to do in the CRUD application where we insert the data to the table. So test is the username and the password I also I hope it is test, I am not sure. Oh come on, come on, come on. Column not found. Column test in warehouse. Oh Username is the column. Users is the table. Users table. Username. User select all from users. TV username equals. Oh, we are passing this. Sorry about that. Back again. Incorrect username or password. So the password, uh, maybe it is one, two, three. I'm not sure. Let's check. No. Okay, we'll we'll register another user first. Users create. Oops. Hmm. can teach you something else also here now since now like like you see like you saw we are I am trying to navigate to the users create action but it redirects back to this login login screen because we have do we do not have authority to insert data without without uh, without logging into the system so we can see the data but we cannot create like that so what we have to do is that is been done with this the okay, users controller this is the controller of the users now there are some access rules now we are allowing the index and the view files the index and the view files this is the index file actually we can't see the index 
this is the index file and the view file view file is the file that goes when we click a detailed view of the item of the user so these are enabled these are everyone can do it the star marks the star stands for everyone but the create and update can be only done by a authenticated user and the admin and delete functions can be done by only the admin user so some user with the name username admin has to be logged in to do the admin and delete functions so what in this case since we need to create another new user so because we don't remember we don't remember the username and the password the earlier ones so we'll change this authenticated to everyone now everyone can create an update now let's check again refresh create users now we can create users okay let's pass in a username admin and the password is also admin let's create him okay then okay now let's try to log in with the username admin and the password admin okay we are logged in so that means we are logged in so we don't have to die here we just have to return the error code back again let's log in again admin admin okay now we can do everything we want since the username is admin uh, the user's name is admin he can manage and delete items because his username is admin if he is not admin then this is not possible that is in the access rules uh, access rules here so the admin can only do the admin action and delete action I did a delete action only because I have been logged in as admin okay I'll talk more about the access rules later on so that completes uh, the login system the database login system as you can see it doesn't even take 10-15 minutes to complete the whole login system uh, with the database connectivity okay right thank you very much uh, hope to see you next time have a good day bye bye